In Iceland, we have had uh, an economic collapse. It is the entire financial structure of the country collapsing. And now we have the IMF on visit. Well, there's no doubt 2009 has been and will be, continue to be a difficult year for Iceland. The government has done a lot over the last year, but there actually remains much more to be done in order to fully extricate Iceland from this crisis. To name just a few things that we'll be focusing on with the government, uh, we have to translate the fiscal consolidation plan into action, into appropriate uh, adjustments of expenditure programs. We need to implement the capital control liberalization strategy. There are two types of rights, property rights and human rights. The IMF is concerned about property rights. It gives nothing for human rights. It is the police of international capitalism. We need to implement the capital control liberalization strategy. It is in Iceland to make sure that we pay up. And even if this is going to harm the welfare system in the country, if it is going to harm those who have no responsibility in the crisis. Uh, we have to translate the fiscal consolidation plan into action, into appropriate uh, adjustments of expenditure programs, appropriate uh, adjustments of expenditure programs. This year, we are cutting down in the health sector uh, between six and seven percent. The coming year, the same. The year after that, uh, we are requested to do the same by the IMF, and it is uh, it is difficult uh, to do this, and we are trying to do this in such a way that we don't uh, damage the uh, system irreparably. It is obvious what will happen if you cut drastically down on public health. There will be pressure for private solutions. You will have insurance firms stepping in, offering their solutions, and People with means, people with money, they are going to press for these solutions as well. What does this mean for society? What does this mean for the system at large? It gets worse and it starts to discriminate. And this is something we must avoid. Sorry, Erin. Yeah. Bless other. Bless other. I am always afraid when people are governed by ideology and refuse to look to experience. In recent years, the trend has been to marketize the health systems, go in the direction of the American health system. Now, what is the experience of that system? It is the most expensive health system in the world. And it is also a system that discriminates between people. It is therefore I want the IMF out of the country, the sooner the better.